Hi, it's Andy. Hi, it's Dave. Hi, it's Kirk. Okay, so I've been saying today to Andy and Kurt that they won't know what song is coming up, but I am going to tell you what song is going to come up just to, go, just to give you some reference point because it's something I want you to have a think about uh, as you're listening to the song. And also, as soon as the song starts playing, you're going to see because it comes up with the name of the band and the song title. So um, there's no real guesswork involved. So uh, in the last few weeks, we've listened to two songs by one ba- this one band, uh, and we've had kind of slightly mixed opinions. Uh, the first one uh, by the band was called Deaf. And the second one was called Artificial Light. The band, of course, is Demon Hunter. So the first one you really kind of got into, you liked it, but it was just too short. The second one was a little bit more generic, uh, but was heavy, but you it was, again, a bit unsure on. So the final track that I'm going to put out for you guys to give you an opinion of the band is a song called Dead Flowers. Uh, it's a much slower track. It's a more of an emotional track. Uh, the thing I'd like to you to give me a feedback on is I pe- I think there's doom elements in this. I'm intrigued to know if you do as well. That's the only kind of hint. hint. It's a lyric-based video because they don't do an official one, but I actually quite like the lyric-based video. Um, So, yeah, let's go check out Dead Flowers by Demon Hunter.
Right, so there we go. So that was uh, Demon Hunter and, of course, Dead Flowers. Uh, I'm going to kick this straight over to Andy for your feedback on the track. I'm very confused by this band. <laughs> uh, as, as you said, this is the third one we've, we've done. They're a Christian metal band. In any of the songs, I don't think I've seen heard any sort of religious uh, elements in, in, in the lyrics. I mean, the the... The opening image, that sort of horn skull with the candle on it, reminded me of sort of 1990 skateboard decks from America. Oh, know, okay. Tony Caballero style design on, on, a, on a skateboard. Um, I didn't dislike the song. It, it reminded me of a sort of down tuned stained. Yeah. You know, yeah. Even, oh, okay. even, even with the, the, the lyrical content, which which I did actually quite like. You know, that's my sort of sort of vibe. You know, quite quite depressing, quite miserable. <laughs> you know, conveying the loss yeah. of a, a, a life or a relationship. Um, again, I hand over the coat for, for the exact genre category, but it, it sort of reminded me of those sort of bands that aren't sort of traditional doom, but are sort of quite slow and, and sort of melancholy. I'm thinking of like Swallow of the Sun, you know, sort of Latter day Anathema. Mm. Uh, who else I've written down there? I can't even read. Catatonia, which are bad. I'm not too familiar, but that that that's the sort of the sort of you know I'd, I'd, I'd throw these guys in with that or this particular song anyway. Um, I think with everything we've we've heard, I'm not sure I'm gonna you know sort of you know follow them. But I, I didn't dislike the song, but it didn't it did blow me. It was, yeah, it was, it was a little dull. I don't think the that lyrical line needed to be repeated ten times at the end. That could have just been done mm. once or twice, and then just had the nice sort of instrumental fade out but yeah that's 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 my summary of that i think okay Kirk. <clears throat> yeah in answer to your question it, it, i wouldn't call that doom metal it's they're essentially taking that alice in chains sound you know when alice in chains write almost like a ballad on their album that's yeah what it's like in it you can al almost hear pearl jam in there and stained yeah it's a good reference point now I never liked Stained. I always saw them as like a cross between new metal and a third-rate Alice in Chains. That song, oh, there's a there's a real problem with that. Why the hell did they decide to use a major key chorus in a song like that? It just completely <laughs> changes the mood. And to me, I just think bland radio rock. As soon as I hear that, skip the track. Right. Um, okay. Now I think this probably would though. I probably would like it on an album because we've heard them write a really aggressive muscular but uh hardcore song haven't we then we've yeah. heard them in the at the gates meets metalcore mold and now we've heard them write this so i probably would appreciate that more as a palate cleanser on an album but as an individual song i can't i can't say i'm a fan of that that chorus do you know what it needed there i'm listening to it just thinking there's elements of catatonia and paradise lost and it needs nick holmes from paradise lost to really bring right. full potential out of that song. And I mean, Nick Holmes in the last 10 years, or even the early 2000s, he's got a great voice, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there, there, was, there was just too many cliches in there um, as a standalone song, but I think I could tolerate that on an album because I like to have variation. I couldn't just listen to 10, um, 10 songs that are just metallic hardcore. I couldn't listen to 10 songs that are melodic death metal. So I appreciate what they're doing. But that major key chorus really lets them down there. Um, and yeah, I, if, if that was the first song I heard by them, I probably wouldn't go back to them, to be honest. 
It's a really interesting sort of feedback you guys are giving because they sit down in the uh, genres of generic metal or groove metal and also they get put into the rock category as well. Um, so they do, it's kind of, it's one of those ones where you, uh, it's almost a band that doesn't quite know what identity it wants to sit in. So they kind of just do a little bit of everything and so they can appease multiples and if they, if you go through an album, you might find four songs on an album that you really like, but then you'll probably find that the other four are not something you're really going to get into because it's completely different style or feel to the tracks. Uh, to pick up on Andy's point about religion, uh, if, if, what I liked about the lyrics in this is you can either take it as religious or you can take it as personal loss. So on the lyrics here, we get to the chorus like dead flowers for the torn apart. I've obviously as someone who's died. You put flowers on the grave. Uh, flowers is a, as a come and we see that all the time it's up when you see if someone who gets lost laid at the grave to heal a broken heart so it makes sense putting the growth them down let it rain until it floods in reference to tears let the tears come out and then let the sun breathe life once more more is the lyric and then it says reborn but you can spin that as though let basically god and jesus into your life i.e um let the sun i.e. Son of God, Jesus, breathe life once more, be reborn. Of course. And, if you, and then if you read the lyrics here where it says, uh, I wish you the same to walk beside you and carry on this flame to see you again with a radiance of pure and holiness. So when you do die, I'll see you in heaven. So it depends on how you want to read it. So you can either go down the route of being a very religious person who takes it for the religion. Now, I'm not a religious person, but I was brought up in the Christian faith. And so I read through it and I kind of go, yeah, I can see how they've done it, but they don't kind of shove it down your throat. You can take it as a, a personal sad song. Uh, and I think the reason why they went to a major key is because the chorus is about being reborn born and being positive. So yeah, I think they true. went very I think they went very heavy or moody on the verses and then wanted to be an uplifting on the chorus, which is why they did the major key, because they were trying to get the idea of being reborn and let the sun breathe life. So to get over your loss. And I think that's why they did it rather than staying in a minor. Yeah, very clever, actually. I didn't look at it like that. I, I'm willing to concede on that. Yeah, do you know, that is, that's quite a sophisticated approach, isn't it? You're right, mm. to match the message of the song. I Like you, I was raised in the Christian faith. And <clears throat> if you're admitted into the kingdom of heaven, you get the glory of eternal life, don't you, when you die? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, 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 sh I probably wish I should have paid more attention to the lyrics. And, yeah, I'm actually going to say, now that you've pointed it out i think that that is yeah that is clever what they've done i'm gonna i'm gonna retract my criticism <laughs> <laughs> right now now i just gotta work on andy right next <laughs> anyway no, I'll right. Off, I'll off, you know <coughs> i said about stain and kirk green i'm off stain but um i also agree with what kirk said about it being perhaps i don't like the term palate cleanser for a, a more um you know a more aggressive album or you know you know in the in the light that we've already heard from this band but as a standalone track from a band you're not particularly familiar with it, it's yeah as i say it bordering on the regions of dull for me but Bland I, 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 I think the lyrical content and i can see your analogy as well david but i think um you know you know the majority of people will look at it as a a, a song and lyric about sort of losing someone and trying to deal with grief rather than trying to see the positivist yeah positivity of uh christianity very true uh, i mean and if you didn't know they were a christian band you wouldn't go looking for that message exactly and that's yeah. it's the fact that they are so you go looking for it i think it'd be interesting if they do a new album to do like what we just did with the obituary review because when we did the obituary review we did say there were some songs on there that were album fillers and i think we'd probably find the same with demon hunt you'd find the standout tracks and then you'd find the ones that didn't quite hit the mark for us uh but we'll obviously wait and see if they as and when they do one, well, I'm sure we'll do a review on it. Anyway, well, there we go. That was Demon Hunter and Dead Flowers. Now, if you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe. And we'll see you on another video sometime very soon. Take care.